Well, it's that time again to test out the fire alarm system installed in the garage. This is going to be system test 36. And all of the alarms are new in this test, like usual. And there is one alarm that I've never seen before in a real building. You've probably seen it in the thumbnail. It is this. It's a CPG, also known as Commercial Products Group. And the horn and the strobe both have different model numbers. The model number for the horn is 4050D. And then the strobe is a V1971 1575 Candela fixed strobe. And the horn on this unit does sound a little raspy. It doesn't sound that great at all, honestly. Even with filtered power, it does not sound that great. Um, and it doesn't sound that great even with FWR. So it is going to be powered with regular FWR power from the fire alarm control panel today. But I'll include a little clip with it being uh, powered with regular, or I guess filtered DC power so that you can hear the difference. I don't think there's too much of a difference. But for the pull station, I decided to stick with the CPG th theme. I moved the CPG MM PS pull station that was in the ADT system test 35 over, and it is now installed here in the garage. If you haven't had a chance to see this yet, we will be pulling it today. It's probably one of the easiest pull stations out there to reset. On the far side of the garage, you're probably not going to see this coming, <laughs> but I wanted to keep it interesting, so I did go ahead and put up an alarm that is not at all with the theme. <laughs> it is a Kitta EG1 AV LED horn strobe. It's set on Temporal 3 15 Candela, and there it is. I forgot to mention earlier that that trim plate that you see on the CPG horn, that was taken from the ADT horn that used to be in this spot recently. And I figured that would look a lot better because the back box is sunken into the wall, so without it, it would not look right. But it's there, and I think it looks great. All right, who's ready to pull the fire alarm and do some testing? That horn up there is set on continuous, so this will be kind of loud. Here we go. We'll remove this cover here, open it to activate, and pull down. Well, that was loud. <laughs> Here's a clip of what this horn sounds like with filtered power, if you want to compare. <laughs> Through this switch up top, we're going to change the coding on this alarm up here from temporal low volume to continuous low volume, and that'll hopefully make it sound a little better when we code the knack here. So. Go ahead and put that cover back on, and then we'll put the trim cover back on. There we go. So fun fact at the fire alarm control panel, we still have an active alarm, and I actually forgot about this. I was about to try and change the coding here, but if we try and go into the settings to change the code, we'll hit program, advanced program. It says, System state does not allow programming changes, and that's because we do have an active alarm. So before we change the NAC, we're gonna go ahead and reset that pull station over there and then reset the system. So I found so far that this pull station does work with a firelight key and a simplex B key. So go ahead and put that in. 
Oh, it did work. Oh, I just had the key the wrong way. There we go. All right, you just turn the key and the handle pops up and then we close that plastic cover. Very easy. Okay, let's go ahead and open up the panel and press reset and then we'll reprogram the NAC. We'll hit panel configuration, panel NAC, NAC one. And then right now it's on continuous with silence. And we'll change it to 120 SPM. And then hit save. So now it'll do like a fast march time. Let's go ahead and hit the pull station and see how it sounds. There we go. In three, Two, one. There it goes. Yeah, with that code, there is no silenceable version. So I do have to reset the pull station and reset the whole panel in order to silence the alarm. But it doesn't sound like the alarm is on for long enough between each beat for the EG1 AV over there to actually activate, which is sad, but. Well, I think that's gonna do it for System Test 35. Thank you everyone for watching this test. Rate, comment, and subscribe. If you found any of this interesting, please go check out some of my other videos. Have a great day.